Okay, in this video I want to talk about evaluating a line integral along a straight line segment using the definition of the line integral. And evaluating line integrals along line segments is a pretty common little thing, so I think this is a useful little trick to remember. So um, what we're going to do is um, we're going to parametize our x, y, and z in terms of some new variable. Uh, we'll call it t. So it says x has a parametric representation. x of t, y is y of t, z is z of t along some interval a to b. It says if we can parametize um, our curve in this way, it says then if we want to integrate our line integral with respect to x, it says basically you just substitute x, y, and z with its respective parametization. And if you want to integrate with respect to x, you would tack on, um, instead of using dx, you're going to take the derivative, the x prime of t, and then we're going to integrate with respect to t from a to b. Likewise, if this was dy, the only thing that would change is we would have y prime over here. Likewise, um, if we're doing dz, the only thing that's going to change is it'll be z prime of t. Okay, so let's do, uh, let's do one here real quick. Suppose we want to compute this line integral. Um, so we've got the curve. Um, we're going to integrate 2x plus yz dx um, plus xz dy plus yx dz. And make sure I've got my problem down right. Yeah, okay. And c is going to be the straight line segment from the origin 0, 0, 0 to the point 1, 2, negative 1. One little thing you want to remember again with vectors um, is... <clears throat> a, a simple way to find a vector representation for a line that starts at one point R0 and ends at some point R1 is we can use this little formula here at the bottom. It says the, um, the parametric representation of the line R of t is going to be 1 minus t R0 plus t R1 and this uh, is going to be where t ranges from 0 to 1. Okay, so in our problem um, the point we're starting at 0, 0, 0, so that means our R0 is going to be the point 0, 0, 0, and it says we finish off R1 um, at the point 1, 2, comma, negative 1. So it says simply a vector representation for the line segment is we take 1 minus t times R0, which is just 0, 0, 0, plus we take t times r1 and again r1 is just the point 1 to negative 1. Okay so remember with uh, vectors and uh, scalars you just distribute so and then we add respective components I think you can check my arithmetic um, we'll get t, 2t and negative t so it says this is our parametric representation for our line segment again t is varying from 0 to 1 so it simply says x has a parametric representation of just t it says y has the parametric representation 2t and it says z has the parametric representation of negative t all we basically have to do now is just go and plug everything into our integral, just being careful, and then we've got a pretty, um, at least in this case, a pretty straightforward integral to, to calculate, I think. So again, the thing that's important is this parametization that we came up with here at the bottom. You know, obviously taking starting at the origin makes the computations easy, but, um, you know, hopefully it won't be too bad. So let me give myself a little space here real quick. Okay, so all I'm doing now is we're going to compute this integral. Again, we compute it from 0 to 1, and all we have to do is just start replacing. So it says we get 2x. Again, we're replacing x with t, so we'll get 2t plus y times z. So that's 2t times negative t. Make that a little clear, hopefully negative t and it says we're multiplying all of that by dx well if we take the derivative of x or x prime um, our x prime is simply going to equal 1 down here so we'll multiply that by 1 plus and then again it just says plug in x which is t 
plug in z, which is negative t. It says multiply that by dy. If we take our dy or our y prime, we'll simply get 2. So we're going to have to multiply all of this by 2. And then it says we take y, which is 2t, times x, which is t. And again, just multiply this by dz, or z prime, rather. So z prime is going to be negative 1. So we'll multiply all this by negative 1. And then we're integrating all of this with respect to t. Okay, so a little long, a little tedious, but again, not too bad of an integral really to compute at this point. So let's see if we can't simplify it down here. So it looks like we've got 2t in the first set of parentheses. It looks like we're going to get negative 2t squared. Um, again, we're just multiplying by 1. Um, our middle term, it looks like we'll get negative 2t squared. And then let's see, our outside term also looks like it's going to be negative 2t squared. And again, we're evaluating all of this. We're integrating all of this with respect to t. Um, might as well go ahead and simplify it down just a little bit more before we integrate. So we've got from 0 to 1, we've got 2t. If we collect all of our like terms, we simply have minus 6t squared. Hey, what a, what a nice integral. OK, so if we integrate 2t, we just get t squared. If we integrate um, 6t squared, I guess we're going to get, what, 2t cubed, negative 2t cubed. Um, and again, we simply have to evaluate this from 0 to 1. So if we plug in 1, we'll simply get 1 minus 2. Notice when we plug in the lower limits of integration, we're just going to get a bunch of zeros. So it says the value of this line integral along this curve is simply going to be equal to negative 1. OK, so nothing too bad. I think the main thing to remember is just to, the, you know, how to parametize a line segment using vectors. And after that, it's really just a matter of kind of plugging and chugging. And you know, hopefully your original, you know, your original integral is not too messy. If so, obviously the integration is going to be a little messy. Um, but you know, other than that, this is basically the procedure. So, all right, I hope this uh, second example helps a little bit. As always, if you have comments or questions, feel free to post them.